I'm doing a lockup inspection at the moment, but at the same time, I'm going to help the homeowner to look at some of the items that we've looked at previously, which is the waterproofing and a bit of the framework and all that. Take a look at the progress of this double story home. I'm with the build safe crew here, smashing it. Look at these guys packing up. So I don't go on the roof. Sneaky little builder. That's it, man. This is the double story home right there. Beautiful, beautiful tape job. Look at this. So, see, as you can see here, I'll get a better picture. Look at this. You can see the membrane just finishes hard up against the wall. And then you've got the architrave, which is right here, butts into the tile. Now, when water goes behind the grout, it is going to deteriorate that architrave. Look at this. And also you can see how the water stop does not connect to the perimeter flashing. Looks like someone has to go back to trade school. Also take a look at this water stop around the bathtub area here. So here's an extract from AS 3740 regarding the minimum membrane termination above the tile. It's 5 mil. This is AS 3740 2010 and this is AS 3740 2021. Now you can see here that this is not 5 mil. See that first gold line from the bottom? That's 5 mil. And also, if you guys want to buy this 3-in-1 taper gauge, it's a ruler right there. And it's also a hole diameter gauge as well, where you just stick it in a hole like this, or a gap, and it gives you the reading. And then also a clearance. I love using this, it's one of my favorite tools. Check out the penetrations, not sealed as well. Look at this penetration as well, not sealed. And also these penetrations are just fully open, not sealed. Hello. Hello. And also this other ensuite, you can see <laughs> the water stop here, it's not 5 mil. Check it out. Nice. Look at this, they've also removed the tiles because they're just tiled straight on paint with no primer or anything. No adhesion. And this one, wow. And also, smells like a fire, oh my god. Lucky that they didn't burn the house down. Out of room. And obviously, yep, that's not compliant. But obviously you can see there is no perimeter flushing anywhere. These guys wanted to save every single dollar, every single cent to not put membrane in the powder room. Look at this. I mean, horrible job. Horrible job, look at this. Wow. What a plaster job. Mm, smells like a barbecue here. See this piece of flashing right here? Let's see why it's been cut like this. You can see here, look at this. They've joined this flashing. Inadequate way to join, by the way. To another flashing. Look at this. Water is definitely entering this section of the wall. And check out this pressure flashing. Oh my god. So these guys used an external angle to finish off the bottom of this uh, polystyrene cladding. Look at the way they finished it. This is common throughout the whole section. Look at that. Wow.
Oh, g'day Sam, it's uh, Ed from Side Inspection, how are you? So I've removed a lot of timber and soil. He goes to the client that he has put concrete here and look what he's done. Look at this. This is, ladies and gentlemen, a builder that is one sneaky little builder. A 30 mil brick overhang. Look at that. Look at this. All the way. So the supervisor for this project has told the client that uh, they've put concrete underneath all this brick wall right there. And uh, let's see what the owner has to say. I am simply So uh, do you want to confirm what they actually told you about the, Last the concrete time there? They, they said because of the, it, it looked nice the, and we finished the, the tile uh, like a this whole wall. Mil, uh, tarta. And then yep. I said, if it's not a big issue, if your concrete is because of some reason, because of your mistake, you do yep. that. So I'm not happy with that. Yep. And then said, no, just it look nice. So then I said, it's okay. And then the next time when they change the brick, they, yep. they, they change the brick and set for the next time. And we followed the plan and we put extra concrete. So that's what the supervisor said. He goes, we've put extra concrete, don't stress out. Yeah. And I was about to leave the job right now. And this is, we have to dig. You see, you see how much we've dug here. Look, all this section we've been digging. And the lock-up stage, requesting payment for lock-up stage. And all you got to do is install a bracket or contact the engineer to get a, a an alternative solution to this non-compliant works. And he's decided to put a piece of timber and chuck a bit of dirt on. Definitely non-compliant works. Decided to keep digging, and uh, we can see that there's more timber on this wall here. Unbelievable! Look at that. It is unbelievable. So look at this. They've got another brick here <gasps> underneath the dirt to support this piece of timber. Come on, take it out. It's hard. There we go. Look at this. Actually, what is it? It's just freaking dirt. Unbelievable. So look. There we go. Nice block with a screw. So there's more timber. Look at this. Oh my god, it's actually floating. This this <laughs> look at this. I shouldn't laugh, but this is amazing. This is just amazing. Oh my god. Look at this. Look. The brick is floating. Oh, there's another piece of timber. What the hell is wrong with these people? This is this is what it's supporting, guys. Look. Look at this. This wall. Look, look, look at that. Floating. The supervisor for this project may need to go and uh, work at a kebab shop, I reckon. 